flipping and a flopping. Welcome to the live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Share it out. Spread the word. We are going to be making uh, lemon bars. The best lemon bars. That's what we got to do today. Hey, Denise. Thank you so much. Welcome to the live. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to wait for a couple more people to come in and we will go ahead and start with our devotion so I can go ahead and get these lemon bars going. Hey, Denise, welcome to the live. Come on in. I said, I'm going to wait on a couple more people and we're going to have devotion and then we're going to start so we can get this done. We can get it done. Okay, it says nine is watching. Y'all come on in. Come on in so we can go ahead and get started. Leave me a comment. Say hi. Say hi. Hi, Julia. How you doing? Welcome to the live. I hope, I pray that you're doing very well today. Blessed and highly favored. Yes, we are. Blessed and highly favored. Hey, Cheryl, welcome to the live. Come on in. Y'all spread the word. Share it out. As you come in, don't forget to give that thumbs up. Thumbs up the live. Because we're going to do this devotion, and we're going to go get to... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Jimmy Jaffer. We're going to make these lemon bars. Hey, Bridget, welcome to the live. How you doing? I hope everybody done had some lemon bars before. Hey, Gary. Hi from Canada. Okay, I'm from Tennessee. Welcome, welcome. So glad you're in here. I'll handle the Jewish devotion on my end. Okay, okay, we got this. Hey, Angela, driving the oil change place. Lost power halfway through my oil. Oh my gosh. Get that oil change so you can come on with us. Jimmy said he needed to get the um the oil change on the truck this morning when we went to get an umbrella, umbrella number two, to go on the patio. Umbrella number one is coming in the mail from Wayfair. Um, see what it is. Hey Jean, welcome to the live. Lemon bar is my favorite. Okay. Uh, Brenda, hi Brenda, welcome to the live. Where are you from in Tennessee? I was born and raised in Clarksville, but now live in Oklahoma. I'm in Rockford, right outside of Knoxville. I'm about 15 minutes from Knoxville, right across the road from Louisville. Tapping the door on Maryville and Alcoa. <laughs> I'm in that area. I am in Rockford. Um... Okay, we're going to go ahead and start our devotion so we can get that out of the way so I can start on these bars because I want you to see them as they're cooking and see the whole process. Now, Angela Critter, you know, we, we, we were sisters in another life. That's what I told Angela this morning. And I said, we must have been sisters in another life because Angela has already made a video about lemon bars. She made some last week. And y'all know Angela can cook. She can cook. So I want her to put up her lemon bar recipe. I was blessed with my recipe from Rochelle, the sergeant of arms here, Rochelle Blessing. I'm familiar with the area. Okay, Brenda, yeah! Yeah, I'm in the country. I'm back here in the country with bears, raccoons, snakes, mice, anything you look, squirrels, all the animals seem to gather at my house for some reason and I don't want them. I don't want them. Hey, LSP, how you doing, sweetie? My daughter from another mother. LSP, Jimmy Black had me out at Home Depot at 7.30 this morning. Because they are having a Memorial Day sale. He wanted this umbrella to go on the patio. We went Tuesday and they wanted $499 for this umbrella. 
But the young man was nice enough to tell, tell Jimmy, if you wait till Thursday, they going on sale and they're going to be half price. So come back and get it Thursday. We were there, 7.30 this morning, to get that umbrella for Mr. Jimmy. We got it. We got it. Uh, let me see. There's Rochelle. She's here. Steps into Leap Podcast. The recipe today was courtesy of Steps into Leap Leaps Podcast. As we know, Rochelle, our sergeant of arms here. That's our girl. Okay, wow. You are LSP. I ain't been up that early, I don't think, since <laughs> out of the bed. Now I've been up, but out of the bed functioning with my clothes on <laughs> at 7 30 in the morning, and I don't know when. That man was determined he was going. He said, You know, they only had a few out the other day. They're going to be sold by the time we get there. I said, Jimmy. The guy told you they had more in the back. Well, I know they didn't have a two on the sh on the floor, and I want that umbrella. He got that umbrella. <laughs> he got it. Okay, let's go ahead and start a devotion. I ask my mods to please keep up with everybody coming in and, and greet them. I would appreciate it, especially once I start into the lemon bars. Uh, make everybody feel at home. Show the love. Y'all give a thumbs up, share it out, whatever you can do, do it. Okay, let's get this devotion. I already got my oven preheated at 350 degrees. And I can't wait to taste these lemon, bar these lemon bars myself. Did I tell y'all that I've never made lemon bars before? Can you believe it? And that recipe is so simple. And I've never made, if I have, I don't remember it. I just don't remember making lemon bars. Hey, Linda, how you doing? Hi, we are fishing today. Nothing. I knew you were. I knew you were. <laughs> okay, let's get this devotion. Devotion today is all consuming fire. And if the righteous scarily be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? That comes from 1 Peter, the fourth chapter and the 18th verse. And that is come, coming from the King James Version of the Bible. Thanks to God's law of reaping and sowing, we don't have to wait until we get to heaven to enjoy a portion of the good we've sown here on earth. But God chastises and corrects us for our sins as well, which he is right to do as, as a loving father. If a believer robs a bank, there is no exemption, no get out of jail free card. Now, since judgment begins in the house of God with the righteous, we know that the end of the wicked will be very bad. It is far better for us that God corrects our behavior here on earth so that we can get back on course living a righteous life in Christ. Sin is a rival to righteousness. The Lord your God is a consuming fire, a jealous God. Deuteronomy the fourth chapter in the 24th verse. Even Moses, the most honored of the Old Testament saints, was chastised by God for sinning. That's Numbers, the 20th chapter and the 8th verse. The faithful servant who first saw God as a burning bush on a mountaintop was now was not allowed to set foot in the beautiful promised land. You know, we talked about that before where they circle around that mountain for 40 years, circling around that mountain on a mission that could only um, normally that would take two weeks. They were just going in circles around the mountain. Some work for the world, which we do see, and God gives them what they earn in this life. Some work for the world above, which we cannot see. And God gives them what they will earn in this life forever and ever likewise. And the thought for today is, sin is still sin. 
no matter how you spell it. Listen to this again. Sin is still sin, no matter how you spell it. And that was uh, Edwin Lewis Cole said that. Now we're going to pray right quick. Hi, Joshua. Glad you came in. Baby Becky uh, and Marky Travels. Hello. Welcome to the live. Um, I think I've caught up with everybody. Gene Edwards says, amen. Okay. Now let's touch and agree and we're going to pray so I can go ahead and start making these best lemon bars. Let's touch and agree. Father God, we come in your presence right now with thanksgiving and praise. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to see another day. Thank you for your goodness, your mercy, and your everlasting love. Thank you for covering us with your blood from the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet. Lord, we ask that you will walk with us, talk with us, guide and direct us as we go forth through this day. Bless us all with wisdom, wisdom and knowledge and discernment between good and evil. Be with our health problems, our family problems, our problems on the job, our financial pro problems, our housing problem, Lord, whatever it may be. Lord, we give our burden and our cry to you right now. You said to seek your face and your guidance in all things and to bring all our cares to you. And we're putting them at your foot right now, Lord. You know what to do. You know how to handle it. You know how to fix it. And Lord, I pray that you will fix it right now. I pray for everyone in this live, everyone who is about to come, those who wanted to come and can't come. But Lord, I ask that you be with them and bless them all. Bless each channel that is represented. I pray for increase in their channel, that they will grow and prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I love you. You are my all in all. You're everything I need and more. In Jesus' holy and divine name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Okay. Let me get off my little stool here, y'all. Hey, uh, I spoke to Gary. Okay. Mods, you got it. You got it. Let me see how I can fix it now. Okay. Now, there's the workstation. You see it? Here is my recipe from... Our faithful Miss Rochelle. And this says the best lemon bars. The uh this lemon bar recipe is simple to make and will wow your friends. Tart, rich, rich, and delicious, all rolled up in one. Tart, rich, and delicious, all rolled up into one. So we're going to start and let me wash my hands right quick. Because I've been sitting there for a while. Okay. And first we're going to make the crust. And the ingredients for the crust is... Hold on. I have it right here. And make sure, yeah. And what's in here is two cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of butter softened. Here's the butter. And a half a cup of sugar. I have the flour and the sugar already in here. So we're going to add, we're going to mix this up. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to put the butter. One cup of butter is two sticks. So I'm going to put the butter in. I don't know if, if people use a mixer. Angela, do you use a mixer or your whisk? 
when you're making this up, because I've never made it before. Well, we're gonna, we gonna whisk it up. And this is the crust that we're gonna put in the bottom of this nine by 13 pan. And it says, ooh, I'm not getting flour everywhere. And it says not to um, grease the bottom. So just put this in there. And to put it in the oven and let this cook, let it bake for about 15 minutes. And while it's uh, getting brown, we're going to make I'm going to use my hands. Forgive me, my hands are clean. But I had to go to old school. <laughs> yeah, this is better. I'm getting it mixed up. And we're ready, almost ready to put it in. Michelle, were you calling me? If you were calling me, I couldn't get you right now. And I know you're trying to tell me something. What did I do wrong? <laughs> what did I do wrong, Rochelle? Wait a minute, let me get this in the oven and I can look at the um, comments. Okay. I got this together and we're going to pat this out. Yes, Rochelle. cereal y'all I'm trying to pack this out and put it in the oven this is the crust Okay, I'm going to clean off the side so it'll look neat. I'll be right back. Cleaning my hands. Clean around the sides of this. So it won't be brown in every which way. I wish I could hear y'all talking.
Okay. Oh, I pulled my dress. Now, I'm going to put this in the oven for 15 minutes. I dropped stuff all in the floor. Okay. Let me see if I can figure out what I have missed here. Jean was 350. Note Denise. Good morning, Miss Beverly. Hey, Anna. Excuse me. What the temperature is 350. I'm sorry, y'all. I hit it with my foot. The temperature was 350 degrees. And the, um, the crust is in for 15 minutes, so 25 minutes to 2. I'll check on it. Bev, you have a beautiful kitchen. Thank you. You, you look at your message. Okay, I'm going up now. We got it. What did I? Beautiful scripture and prayer. Beverly, I got to go get my doggies groomed while you're making your lemon bars. Okay, Crystal. Uh, Bev, you have a beautiful kitchen. Thank you. I read that. Excuse me with the temperature, 350. Good morning, Miss Beverly. LSP. What did I miss, Rochelle? Did I miss something? Did I get all of them? Or was it one I was missing? Because I'm getting ready to start making the filling. Hope you've been well, sister. Uh, LSP production, okay. Rochelle, you still here? I have the same to you, okay. I'm gonna get ready and start the uh, filling. That will go on top of the uh, crust and the filling is one and one half cups of white sugar, one fourth cup of all purpose flour, four eggs, and I have them at room temperature, and two lemons and the juice from two lemons. I've already squeezed the two lemons. I have two fresh lemons. Next time, do not block the phone. Oh, I was in front of the phone. Okay, I'm sorry. Come on now, y'all. Y'all know I'm 71 years old. I do goofy stuff. <laughs> I mean well, but I do goofy stuff. Okay. You all got a nana, mama, <laughs> granny. You know what we do. But I don't mean no disrespect. And I don't mean nothing when I stand in front of you and have my arm in front of you. Okay. Okay. She said, be careful of that. Okay, I should have looked at looked at the phone and seen why, but I wasn't. LSP said, no worries. Yeah, but Rochelle wants it done decent and in order. And I appreciate that. I understand. So let's go on over here now. And we're going to make... Uh, the custard that goes in it. I'm gonna turn my laptop around. Maybe I can see what I'm doing while I'm over here. If I'm in the way too much. Okay. In this bowl, I already have the sugar, 
and the flour, the all purpose. Now the flour for the um the crust was all purpose, and this flour is all pur purpose. Here are two lemons that I have already uh squeezed and got the juice out. I'm going to pour it in here. Here are the four eggs at room temperature. I'm going to whisk them up a little bit. Oh, y'all. I'm doing this wrong. You're going to do today. And then, uh, eggs on the floor. Okay, now we're going to whisk this all up together. I don't think you want to see my fat back. Lord, I got lumps in my back. Look like my back is my front. <laughs> Get all this um, flour mixed up in here. Okay, I'm about to get it together. This is four eggs. Two lemon squeeze, a fourth cup of all-purpose flour, and a cup and a half of sugar. I'm trying to make sure all the flour is out of this so you won't see those little white lumps of flour. I don't see any. Okay. We have about six more minutes or let's see, eight more minutes on the um, pie, I mean the pie, Ugh. the pie crust cooking. This thing is really flimsy today. Okay. Now, I'm going to wait until one uh, thirty-five. Let me see what y'all are saying. LSP said it's always me that gets it. <laughs> no, you don't, LSP. You my girl. I like to mess with you though. Uh, do do do. See, I know she will fuss. I will hear about Now you. <laughs> you know, I look for you and L LSP and Angela Critter tells me what I need to know, and I appreciate it. LSP, I heard trouble in your middle name. Oh, Lord. Um, she needed a tabletop tripod with a phone mount. I got one. Right here, I got one. I don't know why I pulled this thing out. Just tell me why I did that. 
Don't know why, but it did, okay? <laughs> I'll get better. No, I won't. Um, do do do, Angela. Everybody's talking. I'm planning to win a tripod, <laughs> and this I got the nerve, the audacity to be giving away tripods. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Angela, the twenty second. Now we'll talk about that. While we got five more minutes. We'll go ahead and talk about um, June the 22nd, that Thursday. It's a Thursday. We're going to do the um, 50K celebration. The 50K celebration. We're going to be giving away 50 prizes. 50 prizes that you can win. And Angela Critters was right. It's some goodies in this. I'm going I'm to give you a little brief taste of what's in these prizes uh cream bouquet flavoring that you know i'm always talking about wait a minute hold on This is my newest favorite baking pan. Y'all see all that beauty? Somebody gonna win one of these. Look there. This makes the most beautiful cake and it just flips out. It, I mean, this pan right here, She's it. She's everything. I just love her. I just love her. But somebody's going to get one of these pans. But you got to be present to get it. And you ain't getting it in five minutes, neither. <laughs> okay, that. Dossier Cologne. The Biscuit Butter and Blessing Devotion. Rochelle's devotion book. Two people will get that. I have jewelry. The grease container on the stove that everybody likes. She's going to be in it. She's going to be. <laughs> She's going to be in it. What else can I tell you that's in it to get to get you a little excited? The tripod set is a uh, ten-piece light set, and I told you jewelry. Diffusers, your earbuds, buds, your earbuds that you put in your ear. A cleaner for it. Charger, the flat charger that uh, charges your phone real fast. That's going to be in it. A 17 piece cake uh, topper tool set. That's going to be in it. And more. That's just a little taste of what's in it. So make sure you come around. June the 22nd at 1 o'clock. Uh, yes, I can't wait. I can't wait. And money. And money is going to be in it too. Uh, Vernell said June 22nd, 50K celebration. Miss Beverly Black Channel. Come one, come all. No strangers. Tell a friend. Hey, everyone. That's right. Uh, Monday, I will be putting up the uh, notification for it with the thumbnail. Am I going to be in it? To, yes, you got to be in it to win. If you're not present, you can't win nothing. So you got to be in it 
to win it. So I want everybody to be in it and to win it. I can't wait on this celebration. I cannot wait. And we're also going to be celebrating um, the speedy uh, pineapple cake that reached a hundred, a hundred, that reached a million views. One million? I cannot believe. I am still in awe that I actually have a video that has one million views. To God be the glory. To I am in awe that that video has 1 million views, that I have 51,000, 51,500 and something, which it probably be more by now, or 51,500 and something subscribers. To God be the glory. Me? Beverly? Yes, me. <laughs> and I thank the Lord for that. I thank him for that. He has blessed me. His favor is shining on me. And you can have the same. You can have the same. Because what's for you is for you. What's for me is for me. I can't take your blessings and you can't take mine. And God has something in store for each and every one of us with our name on it. With our name on it. Lord Jesus, speak, decree, and declare. Walk in your blessings. Be consistent. Be consistent. I cannot say that enough. Be consistent. Trust God and he will line everything up for you. No, everything ain't going to go perfect every day. You're going to have your ups and your downs, but God still going to bring you through it. You still going to make it. And for those who are on here today who are content creators, I love all the YouTube content creators. They are my family too. But we need to open our eyes, our ears, and our mind. You have to have organic, organic subscribers. You cannot do it with just YouTube subscribers. YouTube content creators, you got to step out of that comfort zone that all you cater to is YouTube content creators. You are not going to grow. I'm going to speak the truth right now. You are not going to grow. You're not going nowhere. You're going to stay where you're at. You're wondering why you're still at 1,500 subscribers, 2,000 subscribers, uh, 4,000 subscribers, 5,000, and you have been on here over five years and can't seem to go nowhere. You can't go nowhere because you're just catering, catering to YouTube content creators. You got to step out of your comfort zone and go get those organic, yep, you're right, organic subscribers, everyday people, your family. Do it, do it, do it. You're not going to grow till you do it. You're not going to grow. You're not going to grow. Let me look at it. I'm turning it up a little bit because I want it to brown a little bit. And one more thing, and I'm through talking about it. One more thing, on your page, on your page, your landing page where people go to only have stuff about your channel on there. That is prime real estate. Prime real estate. Have your videos, your playlists, the things that you have done up at the top. It's all right to, uh, we have to to spread the word about our friends here on YouTube who has channels, but don't let that blow up your uh, page that that's all you got is everybody else's channel, but you're not promoting nothing you got on your own channel. You promoting everybody else's channel and, and knocking yourself out of it. And you ain't going to grow. You're not going to grow. You're not going to grow. She's 
she's trying to brown. Soon as it brown a little more, we're gonna put it, pour this filling on it and we're gonna put it back in the oven. Okay. I'm tired of fussing. <laughs> I wasn't fussing. I was trying to give some little tidbits to because it breaks my heart when I when uh, I I see people that they're just stuck, but they won't listen. They won't listen. And I don't know everything. I don't. But what I know, I know. Um, Jean Edwards says, thank you, Jesus. Your crust up. Denise, yeah, I seen that when it popped up on the phone. I said, oh, yep, it's time. To, I'm going to give it a few more seconds. And then we're going to put the filling over it. Does anybody have any questions? <laughs> anybody got any questions they want to ask me? Oh, and the, and the merch. Oh, has every um we also have now where you can feature merch on your lives, your shorts, um everything, your videos. You can put your products that's what I'm saying. Your products can showcase. You can do that also. I'm back. I lost signal. Okay. Uh, you can also uh, do that on your reels, your shorts, and your videos. You can put. You can feature your products, certain ones that you want to show. Hold on. Now. Okay, we're getting ready to go back over here now again. And we're going to put the custard in. Next time, I, I'll use the right stuff. May have gotten it too bright. Okay, now I'm going to pour this on top of it. And then we're going to put this back in the oven. For 20 minutes. Okay, I'm going to give you the recipe one more time, one more time. The crust was two cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of butter softened, one half cup of white sugar. The filling was one and one half cup of white sugar, one fourth cup of all-purpose flour, four eggs, room temperature, two lemons squeezed with the juice style, and... You preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees center. To make the crust, I'm going to read it as it is written here. To make the crust, blend two cups of flour, soften butter, and one half cup of sugar in a medium bowl until well, well combined. Press into the bottom of an ungreased 9 by 13 pan. Bake in the preheated oven until firm and golden, about 15 minutes. Meanwhile, make the filling, whisk 
remaining one and one half cups of sugar, one fourth cup of flour in a medium bowl, whisk in eggs, then lemon juice until smooth. Pour filling over the baked crust. Bake in a preheated oven for 20 minutes. Set the pan aside to cool completely. The bars will firm up as they cool. When cool, cut into uniform squares. Optional, dust cool bars with confectionery sugar. That's the recipe. It's simple. It's simple. It really is. So... I've eaten a lot of them, but I've never made it. <laughs> I've eaten a whole lot of them, but I have never made any. Let me see what you all are saying now. Uh, Miss Beverly, what is Ahmad doing? Uh, these is since there, there is no more school. Right now, after graduation, he went. His mother lives in South Carolina. So he went back with his mother for a month or so, I guess, about a month or so. He will be back on July 1st. It's a Saturday night at the Hilton here in uh, Alcoa, the Hilton. What we call, they call it the Hall Old Field Community. Anyway, um, it was an older black school that every year they give away, give away uh, scholarships. So he is one of the recipients of a scholarship. So I say it's probably eight to 10 young people that are getting scholarships. So that's on July 1st. So he has to be back before then. So he'll probably come back the end of June because they probably have to rehearsal, get together, you know, get it situated. And I have to see if he has to make a speech or whatever goes on with that. But the tickets, I mean, his ticket is free, of course. But the tickets are $75. <laughs> I already have my, Jimmy and I, we, we already have our tickets. But the tickets are $75 to this affair. But it's really, really nice. We have been several times before when they've had them. And my um, oldest granddaughter, Mia, um... It was about five years ago. She was she got the same scholarship also. She was blessed to receive this this scholarship. Um, Mia, she graduated from what's the school in Muffersboro, LSP? I can't. Is it Middle Tennessee State or East Tennessee? I get them mixed up. Anyway, it's in Muffersboro. She graduated from there, and then she went to Lynchburg. And uh, she went to school there and got her master's. Right after she graduated, she went to Lynchburg, got her master's there. So now she's working. Angela, Masterpiece, yep. Do, 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 LSP, M MTSU, that's it. Thank you, LSP, thank you. I get the school in Muffersboro and Nashville, I get them mixed up all the time. Uh, LSP said, I graduated from MTSU twice. Did you? Oh, good. Good. Lord, them four years, we went there so many times. So many. So many. Yeah. And like, um, LSP is an, is an honor student. And uh, Mia was. And uh, Ahmad is an honor student. So they're doing, they're doing very well. But I miss him. I miss them so much. The last couple of days have been really, y'all keep Jimmy in your prayers, have been really hard on him. He, um, he, he went through a depression. He hasn't been depressed in, in years. But, and he said, I didn't know it was going to hit me like this. It's just the, the house don't seem the same because he's not here. It's a different quietness to it or something. Even though he didn't bother us, he played his game and did his thing. But we're just knowing that we knew he was here in the house. He was here. And, and now, I was upset at first. I was really upset. And Jimmy walking around here trying to keep me all pumped up and, and telling me, you know, it's going to be all right because he's coming back. And then after he talked me out of it, then he goes into it. 
but that's just love. Just, just love, and we miss him. We really do miss him. And he called yesterday. He called me, and uh, yesterday morning. Then he turned around and called Jimmy last night, and then he had his father to deliver me um, my Mother's Day gift from him. His sister came by Sunday night and and brought me these beautiful orange roses, and I thought that was from Ahmad and Damon. But I guess Ahmad wanted to get his own thing. And he knows I love candles. He knows I love candles. And he sent me four candles from bed and, um, what is it? Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works. He sent me four candles from them. And y'all know I was crying. I was crying. <laughs> I was crying. I said, oh, he knows just what I want. Because I was down to one candle. And I was thinking about making an order, and I'm glad I did. And he sent me four candles. I said, that's my baby. He knows what to do. My son has a tennis, and oh, that's, yes, has a tennis scholarship. That's a blessing. I had one, yeah, because your son's grown, <laughs> yeah. I mean, not grown, grown, but he's older, yeah. Uh, LSP said, how sweet, yeah. LSP, the house just. I'm doing better today. I'm I'm doing a lot better today. And Jimmy's working a funeral today. So he left about 11 o'clock. We just have to stay busy and keep our mind off of it. I would, I would have never thought that it would affect us like this. Never. Never. But it, but it did. It did. Because he's such a sweet child. Such a sweet, such a joy. All his teachers... That's all you heard. They said, if we had more students like Ahmad, if we just had more, said he was a joy to work with. He was a sweet, I mean, that's all you heard. That's all you heard. And, you know, that's a blessing when you hear people speak highly of your children and your grandchildren. That is truly a blessing. And I know they, they got to live. They're going to have their ups and downs, their good days and bad days and make mistakes. They're going to do those things. I'm not saying he's perfect because he's far from perfect, but he's perfect to me. <laughs> he's perfect to me. So that's all that matters. Uh, okay. Everybody's caught up. Now we're just waiting on the, uh, the custom, but still I can't cut it, y'all. Denise said, so true. Yeah, I can't cut it because I want it to cool like it should. So y'all seen me make it. I want it to cool like it should. And I want to sprinkle the powdered sugar on top. And it said not to do that until um, it has cooled completely. So I'm not going to cut it or mess with it until it's cool. I'm going to do it right this time. Angela, Angela, Angela. Was this recipe similar to yours? Was this lemon bar recipe similar to yours? Let me know, Angela. Angela. <laughs> Denise said that was whole eggs. Yeah, four, four whole eggs. Four eggs. Yes. Room temperature. It didn't say room temperature, but when I bake, I always have my eggs, butter, milk, uh, whatever liquid I'm using, I always have it at room temperature because that that will uh, that coldness it will mess up your cake. So please I always use room temperature unless it tells you otherwise. And I've never ran I'm, for me. I haven't ran across a recipe that said you put cold milk or cold eggs or cold butter in a recipe. It's all been room temperature. Oh, that's right, Denise. Always room temperature. Angela says, I like your dress. Oh, thank you, Ang Angela. Jimmy got me this last year from Belts. He, uh, it was the end of, you know, end of season when they had marked down a lot of the dresses. And he bought me five dresses. Five dresses. Because when we went in there, I thought we were going just to get him something. And he said, no, I'll get you something. And, of course, when I found them, I told him to pick from the ones I found. I I had those five dresses, and I said, pick from the ones I found. He said, no, you get them all. He said, you just get them all. So I did. I love this dress. It's so comfortable. But I didn't realize it showed all my fat. 
I probably gained weight since last year. Because <laughs> last year, I don't think it fit like that. That big hunk looking like a, a breast sitting on my back. <laughs> okay. Denise said, except instant pudding. Yeah, except I had to think for a minute. Except them some pudding. Yeah, how sweet is the God that I met that I will go a long ways with Him. His character is godly. Oh, how sweet! Yeah, yes, He's a sweet child. Very, very sweet. So, and He likes staying here with us. He really does. He He likes staying with His Nana and Papa. He says, I got to take care of Nana and Papa. I love to hear him say that. <laughs> I got to stay and help and take care of Nana and Papa. That's because during my surgery, when I had my hip surgery, he really took good care of me. He really did. Uh, just make a short later show how it came. I am and I'll, uh, I'll put it on my community board so y'all can see how. Oh, I may do a short. Yeah, I'll do a short. I'll do a short. Yeah. Mine is lemon bar uh, hack with cake mix sunshine bars. Oh, yours is totally different. You put your video up, girl. Angela, put your video up because yours is totally different from mine. Mine is... Uh, you using cake mix, and I'm using all-purpose flour, making that shit. So it's it's totally different. And yours is a lemon bar hack with cake mix. So okay, Angela. Yep, room temperature always, always. I can I can see it now. I I can see. How it's coming together. Jimmy's going to love this. He loves lemon. Um, lemon and uh, pineapples. And, and desserts. Those are his two. Um, fruit flavors in dessert. Lemon and pineapple. You know I had to throw away a pineapple this morning. Because Jimmy loves fruit. He loves fruits. We got bananas. Apples. Grapes. Uh pineapples anything you're looking for basically he has it but he had these pineapples and uh i had forgot all about it. i had forgotten about it myself and i i saw it this morning i said oh no this pineapple and i cut into it and it it wasn't right so i threw it in the trash because i plant pineapple to oh denise i didn't think to do that Yes, I could have done that. Planted. Well, I'll do the next one. I'll do the next one. Yep. I will do the next one. I surely will. Yep. But um, once we get these umbrellas put up, <laughs> and guess what else happened to me? I, okay, I ordered an umbrella from Wayfair. And it's the one, they got the lights on the inside. And the umbrella I got from Wayfair, I wanted to go on the deck. So they said the stand that come with it, I was reading the comments. They said it was an awesome umbrella. Everybody loved it. And it, da, 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 you know, I like that. But they said the stand that comes with it cannot, does not hold it good. You need, a, a, you know, a more stable stand. So I ordered a different stand to go with it. Well, FedEx and Wayfair both took, come sending me messages on Tuesday that my uh, order had been delivered. And so sometimes they leave it by the garage door. Sometimes they leave it on the back, on the deck, on the table. So I walked all the way around the house and I didn't see it. I said, they both saying my order is here, but it's, not, it's nothing here. So this morning... When I got the notice that the umbrella would be here today, I said, I didn't get my stand. And I went in to check it. You know, they take a picture of where they left it at. It was not my house. I 
didn't even know this house. I said, they, they laid the box by the garage. The garage was not my garage, so I called FedEx to, uh, to tell them about it. So they researching it now, and then they going to get in touch with the, uh, the driver. The young lady I talked to said the driver going to have to go to wherever he left and retrieve the box. But I don't want it now if somebody doesn't open it. So they can just give me my money back. I don't want it if somebody doesn't open that box. I don't want no parts of that. So they told me that by the 22nd, uh, I should know, you know, what's going on. But if somebody has opened that box, I don't want it. They just have to keep it. But my umbrella from Wayfair is supposed to be here this, this afternoon. So we shall see. Jimmy got the one from uh, Home Depot this morning that he was having a fit to have. It has lights inside of it, too. We on, we on this kick about umbrellas with the lights inside. I guess because we've been putting so much lightning, different lights in the backyard, around the pond, on the deck, down the walkway. We done went light crazy. Different colors. It is beautiful at night. Just beautiful. And I, I used to didn't even sit on the deck like I'm sitting now, but it's so calm and peaceful here in the water, in the pond, and, and, and the different sounds. Oh, I, I'm loving it now. Hey, Carter, how you doing? Hey, Lisa. Lord, I forgot. Shoot. Sorry, everybody. Hey, hey. Um, yep, yeah, I think I'm caught up. Yeah, that's it. Let me... I need to, you're not supposed to open your oven door, but I keep doing, I got a light. Let me turn the light on and see what's going on. I'm gonna take y'all off of this thing. I don't know. I ain't no need to doing it now. It's out the live almost over with. Okay. I was going to let you see it in the oven. There it is. In the oven. It smells good, too. Oh, it smells good. Oh. Now, if I can get it back on here right. Okay. I think I have about five more minutes on it. Then it has to cool. So, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to have to put some aluminum foil back in my oven. She look rusty. <laughs> She look rusty. <laughs> oh. Okay. Mr. Jimmy wants to get rid of it anyway, so. <laughs> I have never seen a man like him who are who is into appliances and stuff like that and worry about appliances. I mean, he don't give me time to complain. My dishwasher. I was not asking for a new dishwasher. He didn't like the dish, the old dishwasher we had. So right before my surgery, he said, well, if you're going to be down, I got to be able to wash these dishes right. So I got to get a new dishwasher. I want a dishwasher. He got me this LG. Let me show you. I love this dishwasher. This is my new dishwasher, Mr. LG. That sucker, the dishes come out shine. I mean, that's crystal clear, just crystal clear. I love that sucker. And Mr. Jimmy picked it out. Mr. Jimmy got it. He did good on that one. He did good. Okay, it's crazy. Off the bar, new night. Lisa, don't say nothing about knives, girl. 
when it comes to carving knives, any kind of big knife, anything to do with cooking, he has knives in that drawer right that drawer, knives in the drawer right here. He made a container downstairs that he has about, I'd say 35 knives in, and probably more than that. He loves different kinds of, kinds of cutting, especially for cutting meats and stuff like that. He's always been into them knives. And when he, like when he cuts his ribs, when he, cut, when he uh, cooks ribs on the grill, he has to have a certain knife. It's a certain knife. And when we had the restaurant, he had that so bad about his knives, he put a certain color on his knives. And that was meant nobody touched Jimmy Black's knife. <laughs> Those are Jimmy Black's knives, and you don't use them. And they be sharp. Oh, he keeps them sharp. They be sharp. But he, he, he's a knife fanatic. He loves different kind of cooking knives. It's unreal. It's unreal. Stupid stuff. Just buy me clothes. Yeah. <laughs> But he buys me clothes. Lord, yes, my husband buys me clothes. What you, ooh, I am blessed in that field. I am blessed. He buys me clothes, I tell you. And when I um go to church on Sunday, most of the time, the ladies be saying, oh, I like your dress. I like your outfit today. I know, Jimmy bought it. <laughs> I know Jimmy bought it. I said, yes, he did. And they, I mean, they know him. They know how he is. And I don't pick it out. He picks it out. He has good taste. He has good, but he knows what he likes to see me. And I guess that's what it is. He has real, real good taste. And I never did. I only wore it once, though. I guess that's why you didn't see it. He bought me a black leather suit. For Christmas. Did I show it to you? I don't know. Black and silver. Down the the, uh, the lapel and stuff. Sucker is bad. Bad. You hear me? Mr. Jimmy. I love that suit. But I only wore it once. I can't keep up with all that stuff. But, and then he'll have. Then when I wear something. He'll say. I never seen that before. Where you get it from? I said, well, you bought it. <laughs> he can't even remember what he buys. I said, you bought it. You bought it. So that's it. A man. Yes. And that's what he is. Well, I'm going to turn this up. Oh, I'm, how can I get y'all to see this? Wait a minute. I want y'all to see my shoes. They from Tim U. And they are so comfortable. You see him? That's Tim you. Look. Do you see the detail? Look at here. Tim you. I love, they are so comfortable. shoes normally when I get in the house I take my shoes off and put my house shoes on since I had the surgery I love my house shoes I love house shoes we want you want to see the suit let me go get it I love house shoes honey since I put these shoes on today I ain't took them off let me go get that suit and turn this oven off and I'm gonna let y'all see let y'all go
Okay. This is what Mr. Black got me for Christmas. Look. Let me put this back where it belongs so you can see all the detail. Donna, somebody. You see it? Look. It is gorgeous. Wait a minute, let me show you Easter. And I'm not really a pink person, but I like this. It's a dress with the jacket. He got me this Easter. He picked it out. Mr. Jimmy don't play. <laughs> Mr. Jimmy can dress his wife. Okay, Miss Beverly with her tennis. Wait a minute. I ain't gonna show y'all nothing else. The dress I had on Sunday from Tim U. And I had on shoes to match it. I got more compliments off that dress than those shoes. Lord. And I haven't done that on the Tim U haul at all. I need to. But she's gorgeous. Uh, Cheryl said, nice, nice. Uh, Rochelle Hot Mom, mm-hmm. And I had um, some new black boots with the heels that I wore with that when I wore that. And my Chanel purse. <laughs> hey, you know how them old saints, them old black women be walking in church when, when they got that big... See, I don't do the hats no more. I, I gave all my hats away, except I think I got three left now. Because I bought another one that I never... I haven't worn it anyway. But I gave every one of my hats away. Every one of them away. Because I was over the hat and the suit situation. But I guess I'm going back into it. But I had on them boots and that suit... And had my Chanel purse. I was stepping. <laughs> and see, I sit on the same side as Jimmy does in church. Jimmy is a deacon. So, you know, they sit up front. So where he sits is right up in front of me. And I'm like five pews back from him. I know what he's doing. He just likes to sit back and look at me. I know what he's doing. I catch him all the time. I know. And it's, it's, it's certain men in the church that I always, you know, Beverly, you be looking good every Sunday, girl. Jimmy, you better keep an eye. He be right behind listening. He said, I see how she look. <laughs> I love my Jimmy. He a mess. You were the, mm -hmm. yep. And he finally told me, he said, I like for people to look at my wife and give her compliments because that makes me look good. I said, you go ahead with your bad sale, with your little short sale. Because <laughs> Jimmy ain't but that tall. <laughs> what is Jimmy? Is he five, five or five, seven? Something like that. He just, I'm 5'3". I'm 5'3". And he's just a little bit taller than me. But that don't matter to me. I don't care. I never thought about height. My, my daughters, they like tall men. They like tall men. I never thought about that. I say, evidently, I wasn't thinking about it when I married your daddy. <laughs> 
I was not thinking about, we need photos, please. Oh, don't start, LSP. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about no height. Uh-uh. But he's all right for me. He's all right for me. Honky, I can wear a hat now. Oh, Lisa, I wish you'd been up here when I... That woman had the, she had her trunk full of hats. The back seat of her car was full of hats. Her husband was sitting up front with her and he had hats in his lap. I told her when she, I said, you can have every one of them. I don't want no, I just, I wanted the room. I'm running out of room. And those hats took up so much space, so much space. And I said, uh-uh, I'm getting rid of these hats. I am getting rid of them. Go <laughs> now, this gala that's gonna be at the Hilton that um Amont's getting that award. I've been looking at some some outfits. I've been looking at them, I tell you, because they dress up, they dress dress for that. So I don't know what I'm wearing to that, but I know I'm probably getting something new. I'm probably because that's just, every time we go to something that is special, every time we go, uh, you need to go to the, yeah, I had those type of hats. I mean, they were expensive hats. Uh, Jimmy, and Jimmy bought most of them hats. Most of them were over $100 or $200, all of those hats. I mean, he bought expensive hats. When he bought a suit, he would buy a hat to match it. That's the way he was doing it back then. Whatever color my suit, he had a hat to go with it. But I, I just, I don't know. I ain't in the hat thing no more. Now, I like the, uh, Lord, what you call them that everybody's wearing? Y'all know what I'm talking about. The round hat. I like those. I like those now. And I got one, but I ain't, I, and I probably got it in November and still haven't worn it. Uh, you, I read that. Carter said, Arthur used to buy all my clothes when I worked at the bank. Uh, they thought I, they thought that was it. Now, I just look homeless. <laughs> no, you don't, Lisa. Lisa, you wear some pretty things. You do. You don't look homeless. You don't look home. But I thought when Jimmy retired, he would quit that. But, mm -mm, he still does. Hold on. I turned the oven off. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go because this is not going to be ready in time for us to see the full thing because I want it to cool. I want it to cool. Peel box hat. Now, I got the, I have the peel box hat. I had the, I had several of those. Now, one, um, the one, now I kept one of them because that peel box hat was from my cousin in Flint, and she died. She went to, she was playing bingo, y'all. Went to play bingo and had a massive heart attack. Went to play bingo at the bingo hall. So her, uh, her, her, her children, uh, we were real, real close. And it was one of her favorite hats. And they knew how much I, um, Back then, I was in the hats like that. So they gave me this one of her favorite hats, that pill box hat. But I won't wear it. I keep it put up. I got a special box. I keep it in, and I put that away. And she's the one. Uh, I had never smelled Michael Coors cologne. Lord, this was years ago. This was years. She's been dead for years. But I had never smelled Michael Coors cologne until I smelt it on her. And that cologne was made for her. Her body, I mean, her body took that in very well. It smelled so good on her. The microcoolers cologne, the lotion and stuff. I mean, it was just made for her. And she bought, uh, she didn't bought. Someone bought her right before she died. It was a humongous bottle of the cologne. And she had just, and, and uh, her kids gave me that also. They gave me that bottle of cologne. It was humongous. I wore pillbox hats. I had black ones 
and a camel color. You go ahead. You go ahead, girl. Oh. Now, when they had the little teas and stuff at churches, I'll, I'll put one on to go to that. But I don't know what. It's, I think mostly what got me, I had no room left to, to put no more hats in here. It was just no room at all. But that is a short... Uh, a short on the lemon. I am. I'm going to do a short on the lemon bars when they cool so y'all can see them. So I'm going to speak, decree, and declare over you. Lord, I got 51 thumbs up. That's what's showing on my phone. But on the uh, laptop, it's showing 38. It's probably behind. But on the phone, it shows 51 th thumbs up. Thank you, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thanks. I want to thank everyone who comes to the Sunday service when I'm recording service at my church. Sunday, I got over 500 views. Over 500 few views. But, honey, my pastor, the Lord has blessed him. He can preach. If you want to listen to a good sermon... You go and listen to my Sunday services. They, my, my pastor can preach. Lord has blessed him with the word of God. And this Sunday at 5 o'clock, uh, it's going to be a concert with, um, Lord, I'm 52, Jesus. Don't you love when a, perf when a perfume? No yes, yes. That's special. But at 5 o'clock, they're going to be doing a concert, and it's, it's, this young group in our church and they write their own songs and every they record and all that so they gave me i asked them if i could have permission to record and put it on uh youtube and they said yes yes please 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 so i'm going to be recording the uh concert at five o'clock and i'm gonna put that on youtube also in the morning service sunday um, Angela said, my mom had dropped dead gorgeous hats back in the 50s and 60s. She would go to New York once a year and my dad to buy the, that, Jimmy is New York and Atlanta, New York and Atlanta. He loves going to Atlanta to buy his suits, to buy his suits. He buys his dress suits. Um, when we go to Atlanta, he gets at least three or four dress suits. He, my husband be sharp on Sunday now. My husband be sharp on Sundays with the shoes to match and all that and the, and the tie and the little hanky. Oh, yes. He be sharp. He, he dresses very, very well. Irons all. His shirts look like they came from the cleaners. But his mama taught him how to do that. I mean, they be ironed to perfection. He can do that. Mr. Jimmy. Is Marlene in here? Hi, Marlene. How you doing? I had two of my mom's people. Oh, honey. Keep them. Ain't nothing like them. Keep them. I, I'm, not, I'm not getting rid of the ones that I have, but I got rid of so many hats. So many hats. But that's another story. That's another. Let me speak decree and declare. Y'all, it's 223. Okay. I am courageous. I am unstoppable. I am victorious. I am love. I am blessed. I am gifted. I am anointed. I am successful. I am healed. I am healthy. I am whole. I am beautiful. I am confident. I am forgiven. I am grateful. I am generous. I am strong. I am favorite. I am able. I am powerful. I am fruitful. I am God's masterpiece. You are God's masterpiece because our God does not make any junk and you all are made in the image of God. Remember, I love you, but God loves you more. Why? Because you are his masterpiece. You all have blessed me today. I've enjoyed this live. Have a blessed and prosperous weekend. Go do your thing. And remember, uh, May the 30th, I won't be live because I'll be in Harris. Yes, I'll be in Harris. <laughs> oh, oh, Lisa Carter. 
I got a, another email from Harris that they doing a special. $29. $29, Lisa. I said, what is going on with Harris? Are they not making money? Or <laughs> Why are they doing these little rooms? And I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, y'all be blessed and prosperous. And thank you all for being here with me today. I love you all. You know I do. I love you. Be blessed, everybody. Bye, bye. I can't get it to click. There it goes.